microorganisms, friend and foe. Introduction In the world of microorganisms, there are some which are harmful to us. They are harmful to other living organisms in various ways. Some cause diseases, some spoil the food, clothes and even leather. There are microorganisms which cause diseases not only in humans but also in animals and plants. The disease-causing microorganisms are called pathogens. Disease-causing microorganisms in humans Pathogens enter the human body in various ways. They can enter through the air we breathe, the water we drink, or the food we eat. The diseases would spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air, water, food, or physical contact are called communicable diseases. When a person who is suffering from common cold sneezes, the fine droplets of moisture are expelled into the air. These fine moisture droplets contain thousands of viruses. A healthy person catches cold when these viruses enter his body while breathing. Disease Carriers There are some animals and insects which carry the disease-causing microorganisms. Housefly, mosquitoes are the carriers of diseases. Houseflies sit on garbage, animal excreta. Pathogens present in the garbage and animal feces stick on their legs. The same flies sit on the uncovered food and transfer the pathogens to the food. When this contaminated food is consumed, the people fall sick. Hence, it is always recommended to avoid consuming uncovered food. Anopheles, a female mosquito, carries the pathogens of malaria. The malarial parasite is a protozoan. It is also the carrier of the virus of dengue. When the mosquitoes bite human, these pathogens are transferred to the human body. Mosquitoes breathe in water, hence there should not be any collection of water in your surrounding areas. The surroundings must be kept clean and dry. Insecticides can be sprayed to control the mosquitoes. One must use mosquito repellents, mosquito nets to prevent any infection. Some common human diseases Bacterial diseases Diseases caused by bacteria are called bacterial diseases. Tuberculosis spreads through air. TB patients must be kept isolated. His personal belonging must be kept away from other healthy people. Vaccination at suitable age may prevent the tuberculosis. Cholera and typhoid are also the bacterial diseases. 
cholera and typhoid spread through contaminated water. Cholera also spreads via contaminated food. One must maintain the personal hygiene and good sanitary habits as the prevention from cholera and typhoid. Consumption of properly cooked food, drinking boiled water and vaccination are some of the preventive measures against cholera and typhoid. Some common human diseases, viral diseases. Diseases caused because of the infection of viruses are called viral diseases. Measles, chickenpox, polio, hepatitis B are some examples of the viral diseases. Measles Chickenpox, hepatitis B, and polio are spread by air. Chickenpox can also spread through a physical contact with a patient. Hepatitis B and polio are also spread by contaminated water. All these diseases can be prevented by keeping the patient in complete isolation. Patient's personal belongings must be kept away from others. Vaccination against these diseases must be given at a suitable age. Disease-causing microorganisms in animals and plants There are some microorganisms which cause diseases in animals. A bacterium, anthracis, causes a disease called anthrax in humans and cattle. Bacillus anthracis was discovered by Robert Koch in 1876. A virus causes foot and mouth disease in cattle. Plants are also harmed by microorganisms. Microbial infection to plants reduces their yield. It affects the quality of fruits, grains, flowers, etc. Citrus canker is the bacterial disease which is caused by a bacterium in oranges, limes, etc. It is spread by air. Rust of wheat is a fungal disease which affects wheat, barley, Rice. It is either spread by air or if infected seeds are sown. Yellow vein mosaic in Bhindi is caused by a virus. The disease is transmitted through an insect. The disease in animals and humans can be prevented by vaccination and the diseases in plants can be controlled with the help of chemicals. To conclude, the world of microbes is diverse. Some are useful and some are life-risking. Let us summarize what we have learned today. The disease-causing microorganisms are called pathogens. Microorganisms can enter the human body through the air we breathe, the water we drink, or the food we eat. The diseases would spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air, water, food, of physical contact 
are called communicable diseases. Housefly, mosquitoes are the carriers of diseases. Anopheles, a female mosquito, carries the pathogens of malaria and dengue. Mosquitoes breed in water, hence there should not be any collection of water in your surrounding areas. The surroundings must be kept clean and dry. Diseases caused by bacteria are called bacterial diseases. Tuberculosis, cholera and typhoid are the bacterial diseases. Cholera and typhoid spread through contaminated water. Cholera also spreads via contaminated food. Diseases caused because of the infection of viruses are called viral diseases. Measles, chickenpox, polio, hepatitis B are some examples of the viral diseases. Measles, chickenpox, hepatitis B and polio are spread by air. Chickenpox can also spread through a physical contact with a patient. Hepatitis B and polio are also spread by contaminated water. A bacterium anthracis causes a disease called anthrax in humans and cattle. Bacillus anthracis was discovered by Robert Koch in 1876. A virus causes foot and mouth disease in cattle. Microbial infection to plants reduces their yield. Citrus canker is the bacterial disease which is caused by a bacterium in oranges, limes, etc. It is spread by air. Rust of wheat is a fungal disease which affects wheat, barley, rice. Wheat rust is either spread by air or if infected seeds are sown. Yellow vein mosaic in bhindi is caused by a virus. It is transmitted through an insect. The disease in animals and humans can be prevented by vaccination and the diseases in plants can be controlled with the help of chemicals.